Some lawyers have their greatest moments in the courtroom, but for the attorney you're about to meet, every moment of his life has been a feat. He's among a tiny number of people in America who still rely on an iron lung to breathe, but it has not held them back. Jilpin Panneker shows us in this WFAA original. If it has a motor, it has Brady Richard written all over it. We have Dodge Coronets. A love for things that move. Lincoln Zephyrs and Continentals, Buick Skylarks, an old Mercedes. I would say I was born with it. Often what starts so young stays with us. Six years old. Paul Alexander could say that too. In 1952, he suffered a life-changing disease. Nobody knew anything about polio. Nobody knew what caused it, why. But this is the story of how two complete strangers met in Dallas. It was a very unique coincidence. Come on in. Unique is an understatement when you know Paul's story. Yeah, I count myself to be just that, a survivor. Here, brush your teeth, Paul. One of likely just four people left in the country who live with an iron lung. Kathy is his caretaker. Everybody should spend a day with them, and it would change their whole perspective in their life. Paul calls this his yellow submarine. Oh, you're in there. Yep. I'm in here. <laughs> so in pushes in, and out is when you breathe in. It'll be moving back and forth like this. This machine uses pressure to help Paul breathe after polio took all his muscle control. It is practically extinct. And yet, in a random warehouse with classic cars, this is probably the most unique thing in my garage. Two iron lungs, dating back to the 50s, sat in his warehouse and didn't belong to him. My younger guys were going, hey, what's the smokers for? It was a year and a half ago that Paul's own yellow submarine started to break down. From where he lays, he frantically started searching. Everywhere, all over the United States. He could not survive without it. Other breathing options dwindled. All the people knew about our lungs were either dead or very old. Searched the entire country. Brady? Only to find help. 10 minutes away. Brady is one of the angels. I knew I had something to fix that I could fix. You know, could fix I could fix this, yeah. Not a medical professional, never handled an iron lung, but motors. Brady knows motors. Studied every facet of this dead technology. I understand it now, how's that? <laughs> Even has parts from cars to make it work. The iron lung lives on. It functions for Paul like it did when he was young. I respect this guy for being here. He's just incredible. Now just a phone call away, Brady is inspired by Paul's story of survival. We all should be. What polio did to my life, it, it destroyed my life. It took everything from me. It has done all that, and yet he lives happy. It has also brought together two men just 10 minutes away. Please leave your message for 9 Joden Panniker, Channel 8 News. Richard believes that there are only two dozen iron lung machines still intact in the country.